Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Allie and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Allie. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys a what's in my bag. I've, or what's in my purse, what's in my bag. What do people title these? I don't know. But I saw Leela do, like she did like a what's in my makeup bag and then Juicy Jazz just recently uploaded like what's in my purse. She went through her purse, but I'm gonna see what people title these cause I don't know. But anyways, I thought it'd be fun. Like I think that's really fun. Now mine is heavy. Anytime I'm carrying this bag, it's like really, really full, so. So yeah, it's really, really full whenever I carry this. So we are gonna go all throughout this bag. It has two side pockets. Now this is just a coach. It's a coach backpack purse. Um, Brian got this for me for our two year anniversary. Um, it was a gift. We don't buy things like this all the time. This is the most expensive bag I have at $300. And so, like I said, he asked me what I wanted for our anniversary. I said, you know what? I want a backpack purse because if we like go to a restaurant or something, I don't want to have to take King like the diaper bag out. So I will just shove like a small pack of wipes and Kinks diapers in here or whichever child at the time. At the time it was Bryson when I got this bag. So yeah, I like to just uh, shove like things that I might need if we're all out on an outing. I love this bag. It used to have like a little, right? I don't know where it went. Where did it used to hang on to? Oh, so right here on the strap, it used to have a little thing that said coach with a little gold chain. No idea what happened to it. Don't ask me, but yeah. So first things first, let's go ahead and get into this front pocket. Now, mind you, y'all guys know I'm a follower of God. So we go to church a lot. I go to a lot of church events and Bible studies. So what I keep in this, oh, also beauty <laughs> Also, someone who has dry, crusty lips. So the first thing I have in here, I need to put this up. So maybe now I'll do this. But I have this Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. And this one is the shade Bear Alert. Babe Alert. Bear Alert. Babe Alert. So this, I have that in there. I'm pretty sure I probably wore it one time and put it in here just in case I needed to touch up. Here recently, you guys saw that I told y'all in my Ipsy unbagging, this is about to go into my purse. And it did. This is the Seraphine Botanicals. Maybe I don't need to hold that up. Y'all know what pocket I'm going through. Seraphine Botanicals Fruit Butter, that purse is heavy, Fruit Butter Lip Mask. And that's just what that looks like. The next thing I have, I need to put this up too. Karina gave me this and it's been in my purse pretty much ever since she gave it to me because I was at her house when she gave it to me. This is the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline and this one is in the shade Stone. I have that in there because touch-ups. And then really um let's see what is this i have an allergy medicine because west texas um i have my young living stress away roller which was actually a gift from my friend betsy i will ask her if she has a link or anything like that sister i know you don't do young living but if anybody just wants information on oils, she's a good person to go to. I take all of her information and I don't always buy Young Living, but there are certain Young Living oils that I do buy. So this was actually a gift to me and I really do, like if I feel like I'm getting frustrated or stressed, I'll just rub this down on the back of my neck right here and right here on my wrist. And so yeah, I always keep this because stress is always with you trying to invade and interrupt your piece. So I keep this with me in my purse. That's something that stays in there too. Like I said, allergy medicine stays in my purse because you just never know in West Texas, y'all. Like you just never know. And then I have pens and highlighters. Now granted, I don't need this much. So I'm probably going to keep one of each and put the rest away. But yeah, pens and highlighters. And that is it in this front pouch so let's just put back in here what i need in here so my oil my lip balm my pen and a highlighter okay and honestly you guys these side pockets are so small like i can't stick anything in there now if i don't have my case on my phone i can stick my phone in there but for the most part now this this is where things get crazy and heavy so 
Usually I have my Bible in here. I just took it out last night and left it in the car. But since I went to Pink Night, this has not left my purse. This is Like a Palm Tree by Brandy Luna. She is, I want to say she's local to Lubbock. Um, this is just about her life. I haven't started reading it, you guys. She was the speaker for the women's conference that I went to. So she was selling her book. It's called Like a Palm Tree. And what we were told is like, you know, like palm trees, like just the gist of it of like what to expect out of it is the strength of a palm tree because palm trees go through hurricanes and all kinds of crazy weather and still they stand. So I'm excited to read this book just because they, she told us that little bit of it. So I always have, um, oh, forgot to put my allergy medicine back in my purse. Like I said, I don't play about that because my allergies be kicking my booty. Next thing I have is a notebook that I keep in my purse because I mean, you just never know when you're gonna need it. I was told this from the pastor at our old church. She was like, if you're gonna spend any time with God or even if you're just driving or like you're anywhere and you hear God speak to you about something, like always be prepared. And I've always taken that to heart. So a notebook never leaves my purse. I Sometimes it's a notebook, sometimes it's post-its sometimes or sticky notes. Sometimes it could be a notepad. Like I always have something where I can write down notes that God may randomly speak to me. Let's see, I have, oh gosh, this is, so I have this from Pink Night at, uh, which is the worship, which is, which was the woman's conference, it's called Pink Night. So, and it's just a garter because the theme for this year was the Bride of Christ. And so that was the last one. So this was talking about getting intimate with Christ, you know, like a sign of intimacy because, you know, like when you get married, the garter is a sign of intimacy. <laughs> I have hand wipes because coronavirus our power just went out <sighs> okay guys so literally as soon as i pressed the button to stop recording the power came on back on so anyways i was saying i have these right wipes in here because like i said coronavirus I like to wipe down the car. So usually, actually you guys, this is actually for Uber Eats. I just like to wipe down the steering wheel and things like that before I start because I'm not scared of coronavirus. I believe that God's protected my family and kept us in a bubble and I'm so thankful for that. But for other people, I mean, I am handling their food and their drinks. So I like to wipe things down before I get the day started and then keep it sanitized throughout my work shift. And then my wallet, obviously. My wallet's a hot mess. I have all kinds of stuff in here. I need to save, take out all of these gas receipts. So really that's why my wallet's a mess is because I have all these gas receipts because you have to save gas receipts whenever you work for Uber so that way you can report it on your taxes. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have. And now it's clean without all them gas receipts. And then I have a lotion because cold weather, dry weather, dry hands. And then another pin. Who would have knew? <laughs> and then I have this hand sanitizer. We just got, our neighbors just brought us over like a little, a little gift from their church. And it had a hand sanitizer in it. And I was like, great, perfect for my purse for whenever I ride with somebody else. Because I keep hand sanitizer in my car. Like if I'm in a restaurant or something like that or in a grocery store, like I don't have it. It stays in the car because it's like a bottle that's like this big. So I thought this was perfect. I also, oh, trash. It's a baby wipe, y'all. <laughs> and then I also have these fresh mints. I haven't opened them, but they are in there. Oh, how cool. So I just barely realized that inside this actually, so actually has the motto of what me and my family go by. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Y'all know that is like my favorite motto to live by. So yeah, it's just these little fishy Jesus mints. I wonder where they got these from because I'll definitely go buy more. These are so cute, but they're like Bible basements. Keep the fresh breath. See, God cares about your cleanliness. And then I have my appointment card for the dentist, for our next dentist appointment, which is on May 12th, if y'all wanted to know. And then I have this bracelet that my mom gave me. I honestly try to keep this with me all the time. This bracelet means a lot to me also. For one, it has my birthstone on it, which is amethyst. 
purple, which is also my favorite color. And then the little thing just says that she believed she could and so she did. I'm about to cry. My mom has always been the mom that has told us like, set your mind to anything and you can do it. Like you are what holds you back. So whatever you set your mind to, like you can do it. And you know, you tend to forget that over the years, especially when you go through a toxic relationship right out of high school and you're hard headed because you're 18 and you're grown and you know everything. And that person that you're in a relationship just beats you down to the dirt, into the dirt on the ground makes you feel like you're no better than the scum on their shoe like anyways it was a long healing process coming out of that even after I met Brian and my mom gifted this to me like the first year that Brian and I were married and first or second year that we were married it was right after I started my YouTube channel and yeah she believed she could and so she did it always makes me want to cry because it's just like you believe in me mom like you believe in me and I love that. <laughs> Stop being a crybaby, Allie. I love my mom. And mom, I'm sorry for all the hell I put you through. <laughs> I was terrible. She didn't even deserve that. I didn't even have to do her like that. So now, so I went through this front pocket. That's where the bracelet was in my reminder. The big pocket's empty. Now I'm going through the zipper. More trash and more gas receipts that I need to take out, so just a receipt it also has the care instructions from coach and then i have this card from beat and bow homes because house hunting and then i have a another business card from the sanctuary it's a little place here i have these mighty probiotics that i need to give the kids actually I need to get online and order them. And then, like I said, more gas receipts. So all the gas receipts I'm about to put away. But yeah, you guys, that is everything in my purse. Like I said, there's a lot that needed to get taken out, like all of this and all that trash and that garter. But wouldn't that suck if that garter fell out of my purse somewhere? <laughs> So yeah, I'm excited to read this book, putting all this stuff away. I hope that you guys liked this video. I don't know, maybe I could do this like once a month, like what's changed in my purse or anything like that. So yeah, I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.